Matrix is a system, Neo. That system is our enemy. When you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. Uh, g'day YouTube and everyone out there. So um, this rant's going to be the full explanation of what the Mandela Effect is with proven at the end of it because I'm sick of um, all alternating theories um, just going into the nomad's land with um, ludicrous thoughts and um, perspectives of what the actual reality of the Mandela Effect is. So the basic line is, is that we as a collective wouldn't wake up. We hadn't woken up for a long time. We would not um, use our Christ chakra. We did not learn about the consciousness or the Eastern teachings. We just thought, ah, yeah, bugger that. You know, that's just spiritual crap. But the reason why the Mandela Effect has happened is 100% to show that everything itself is fake. Now, we know that consciousness makes the physical reality through the vibration um, frequencies like I taught before. So I'll go into this for the new ones. You have your... Um, uh, your atom that is blank before receiving any kind of frequency of consciousness energy. Then you have the somatics. You have the um, Schumann or human resonant frequency um, that is the same as the human body as to the earth itself. You have um, the endocrine system energies as well as the spiritual energy vortexes of the chakra points and the aura energy fields. These are all how consciousness manifests the physical reality through vibration. Nothing exists like I explained before. So all these people that are tripping out that reality changed, reality doesn't even exist. So just, just get reality out of your fucking head. It doesn't even care about reality. Reality itself is just a construct, just like the movie fucking Matrix told you. See, like I taught before, everything um, that the Mandela Effect is teaching is reverse duality and singularity to point to one, right? Like I pointed out before, depends become depend because it's one. Everything has become one. The Volvo sign is the male. The old Volvo sign that we all remember was the round circle with Volvo, which was the female. So now we have the Volvo sign sticking out the male symbol. So now you have the feel, the male, the male and the female energies, which create one. All this is a, um, it's a uh interpretation by the collective of the consciousness through singularities working in the manifestation of the matrix itself through the physical trying to teach us that nothing itself is actually anything except for positive and negative energies that join together and then create the neutral energy that is the one consciousness of all and everything that is existence which is the god Consciousness energy creates everything. We are all a singularity of the consciousness. There's no one out there that is not a singularity of consciousness. We are all trying to experience everything at once. But so um, uh, the understanding of consciousness can be brought to consciousness, if you understand that. Um, so the Mandela effect, it happened like that. So we had certain shifting particles back and forth, etc. like that, because consciousness energy is us, and the particles themselves are made from consciousness energy, all you had to do was find the frequency of consciousness energy that was associated with the singularities which you, moved, you needed to move the consciousness through. So all of us that have moved have been some kind of form of religious, um, spiritual, um, conspiracy, like I said before, but because of this awareness in our psyche and our um, own singularity of consciousness, we had a higher vibrational frequency to the rest of humanity at the time because we were becoming awakened. So the only way that what they had to do was search for the particle that would be to the right frequency of the right singularity frequency and then shift that into a multiple parallel dimension or bring something from the multiple parallel dimension, which everything works in um, synchronicity at that time anyway because every multiple parallel dimension has a CERN firing up into it till it doesn't exist, and it has a D-Wave firing up into it so it doesn't exist. But the reality of the whole um, construct of the Mandela Effect is to understand that 
space and time and the existence of the physical reality is nothing more than an illusion. And this is what it's teaching you. It's teaching you duality, duality to the Bible verses, duality to the car logos, duality to the movie um, references. Everything that has been the duality is the complete opposite to what it was before to teach you that everything that is duality is one. That's the only understanding of the Mandela effect. There's nothing to get freaky of or anything like that. You know, there's it's not a scary thing. It's actually consciousness itself trying to awaken itself through the singularities inside of the actual game. So we can come to the, the understanding of we are quantum existence beings that we forgot our way. We think we are physical meat bags that die and everything goes black. But the reality of is it is that we are consciousness singularity energies that are infinite and quantum throughout all existence. And when we actually store memory and everything like that, it goes into the consciousness. This is the reason why we shifted from our physical avatar from the Sagittarius arm to the Orion spur. And uh, we as still have our, our memories from the Sagittarius arm in the Orion Spurs actual avatar with the anatomy changes. It's all because everything is the singularity of energy of conscious. I mean, everything is the consciousness energy of singularities, and that's us. And we are creating the Mandela effect. We needed the Mandela effect to happen because we lost our way of understanding. We didn't, um, we don't use the Christ chakra like I explained. We are in the Antichrist because no one understands what the actual references mean. Everything is put into reverse. Um, the whole of the matrix has been in reverse. So now the Mandela effect is about to show you all that. Um, time and space itself is not what you always thought. Life is not what you always thought. Your brain is not what stores memory. Your heart is really your brain, etc. like this. This is all the understanding that is going to come from the Mandela effect. But the, resi the whole, um, what happened with the Mandela effect is, I'll explain it simple and shit. So, well, we have a um, parallel reality or Sagittarius arm, frequencies, manifestation of consciousness, okay? So... We existed in a mirror set. So there was infinite parallel realities to the, the Sagittarius arm where we come from. And Sagittarius arm is set to its own universe. So you have the Sagittarius arm in each universe, which is a different um, change of the original Sagittarius arm with slight manifestations to the physical, or etc. like that, which changes through each, each to mirror. So you have that. That is what your universes are of the Sagittarius arm inside of that one multiverse. So the next multiverse itself, right down to the um, the universe inside of that multiverse, is the Orion Spurs frequency universe. So we have now the Orion Spurs frequency with all the um, infinite set set of mirrors, etc., all the way back and forth, and now. We have changed from one multiverse universe and jumped from that out of that multiverse and been put into the next multiverse and into the starting original um, manifestation point of the the um, Orion Spur frequency um, infinite mirrors. So that's all it is. The reason why you have merged um, uh, reality is because the collective consciousness of ourselves, which are the, the Sagittarius arm um, frequency, we was we were at a different frequency of manifestation through consciousness, through the quantum. And because we sat at that frequency, we got moved into another collective of consciousness. And because consciousness itself as the collective manifests the physical reality, we have alternating frequencies of consciousness that we ourselves from Sagittarius Arm are actually manifesting the residuals into the Orion Spur frequency of consciousness from our thought initiative programs and our memories from the Sagittarius Arm. Without us have shifted, none of the stuff would be here. So this is what you have to understand. Everything is just the consciousness. So now we have merged um, consciousness collectives right throughout the quantum, not just now here and not just Sagittarius Arm. Every single quantum reality that we existed in is now merged with the, um, the next reality that's next to it, into it. So every collective is not at its original frequency. We have a... Um, a duality once again to every single collective throughout the quantum. So this is the teachings of everything that the Mandela Effect is trying to teach you. Not about bloody fucking brainwashing and all this other crap that's getting pulled out of the fucking asses of people, but it's all about the understanding of that we are um, uh, quantum energy and uh, we are singularities of self-aware consciousness of the one pure source of all creational consciousness and through us we manifest the physical reality the way that we want whether it be physical or through the thought initiative or through the thought initiative program which we can do but we've lost our way of doing just like the egyptians knew how to float stone in air
by using their thought initiative program and um, opening up the consciousness energies because you have to remember when you understand that the construct is not real and nothing in the existence of physical is really real except for your um, avatar senses and all the um, fields around you that make it seem physically real to you then anything is possible the only reason that you don't believe it is possible is because of that word believe which you've been indoctrinated right through history and through your, your whole life to tell you that you cannot do the things that you wish you could. You cannot be superhuman. You cannot do any of this. But in reality, consciousness is telling you all the time through the collective that you can. We are lightning. We are fire. We are the sky. We are the ground. We are already everything. So what's the difference between that and us? Not a thing. It's only the... Um, understanding and belief system of what you actually think and then you believe that you know inside of the actual matrix construct that makes it like that. So this is the understanding of what the Mandela effect is. There's no freakiness to the Mandela effect. All it is is God. God working through um, CERN, unfortunately, which is just the... Um, see, CERN and everything like this. This is um, another thing as well. All of these um, bad has been put into the good for the simple reason that we can't have a balanced um, pure and we can't have a balanced bad. It has to be so we're always in the middle and we sit in harmony. CERN is now, probably they tried to do something fucked up to us, so no doubt. They actually tried to either kill us or um, uh, make us all brainwashed so we thought we were in another parallel reality or something like that. And some did, some didn't and all that. But the thing is, because the system of the consciousness works in duality... The actual, um, uh, the intent of what they wanted from us to um, shift us or kill us or whatever they planned did not work. Instead, the awakened become more awakened and we kept our, con uh, our collective conscious of the consciousness memory that we had. So now we can actually relay exactly of what is going on. We have been given a gift to teach people more about the actual um, reality of what everything is in the physical world. There is no physical fucking world. There is no space. There is no um, uh, bloody planets. There is nothing like this. This is all a... Um, program system from inside of the matrix. That is all of it is. And the Mandela effect has been brought towards us and showing us that in our life that everything can change within a blink of an eye because everything itself is fake. Thanks. This is pretty uh, controversy to some people out there. Some people may found, find offense in it, um, but it is not my intention. My intention is to teach. My intention is to enlighten people to um, true matters that actually need to be brought up and examined instead of just left and kept in the same uh, program of repeating itself over and over and over and over and over again that keeps us in the figure eight loop all the time when... It, as to say, they, we need to actually understand that the figure eight loop needs to be broken so we can break into that 33 and that 33 can then become soul and body working together in harmony and understand. See, everything is reversed in the matrix. Numbers are thrown at us and called different um, deemed um, powers behind them, etc. like that. But reality is everything come from God at the beginning and uh, was used by intention in a different purpose, in a different way. But the main reason it's been used that way is to hide it from all the masses, to make the masses never understand and keep confusion as the control barrier between 
the so-called enlightened of the world that run everything and the populist masses, which are the working ants. Cheers. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, so um, uh, what I was going to add in quickly is also the ex oh, I got another download, which is actually to do with the um, uh, the biblical allegory of Satan being held in a prison for a thousand years before being able to be released, all right? As we know that Satan itself is just a dark consciousness energy of the one, and everything is of the one God. So what you're looking at is the reference. is not prison itself, it is the prism. And what the prism is, is the subconscious mind. And because you use your Christ chakra to open up the subconscious into the superconscious, then therefore what you're doing is you're releasing... Well, believe it or not, the beast from the prison, but at the same time, you're also releasing the Christ, which you should always do, because there's always a duality law to everything. So all that actually refers to is that the prism is the conscious mind or the brain, and the brain itself is actually a crystal that actually works the same kind of way as any other crystal. You can figure that out yourself if you do a bit of research into it. And uh, the brain of every single person is part and parcel of the one singularity, because we're all one. So we've locked Satan in the prison, and we've locked God in the prison. And as well as that, we've got the um, uh, the biblical allegory, like I said before, of the Christian religion that allows that God to be presented as being a God that exists, but it also be a God that you can never ever touch, because under the biblical biblical allegory, you can never ever not sin. You're always a sinner in the eyes of God, so you're never worthy of going to God. So therefore, you're never ever going to get to the actual um, uh, understanding that you're worthy that you can be with God. No, you won't ever get that through that religion. So what you look at is the actual reverse symbology of it is that you look at it in reverse and it teaches you how to open up the Christ chakra. So that's all that is. It's all just um, um, duality laws of the one consciousness collective that actually manifest the physical reality, like I said plenty of times before. And uh, we look at the hints inside of the matrix to understand that everything inside of the matrix is what consciousness directs. So you look at right now, you're looking at the... Um, um, well, believe it or not, I'm going to say this, and you might, so a lot of people may get upset, but you're looking at the Bible. The Bible is talking about a man called Christ. Now, Christ is nothing more than a mere man that actually opened up his Christ chakra and allowed the consciousness of God to get through him. So he could actually become of the world, but not in the world. That's exactly what it says, correct? So you looked at a man that actually managed to do this, and that's all that was and shit. So you have the biblical allegory that was created by the pagans after that that actually give you a fable story that allows them to control history throughout reality that was only put there as a concept of programming of the masses to actually take them into one understanding of you do this, you sin, you're against God. And they kept it all the way through trying to hide the real teachings of God is about the Christ chakra. Because with the actual allegory of what it is, you can never ever reach God. You never ever will reach God unless there's a revelation from the Genesis. And revelation is constantly all the time. Like I explained before, the Antichrist exists all the time. We have lived in the Antichrist. Well, the simple reason is we have not used the Christ chakra at all. We have actually been living in the Antichrist. So therefore, we actually have been in the Antichrist right throughout all the ages, even though people are still waiting for the Antichrist to emerge, which makes no sense whatsoever. See, the, the biblical allegory was created by the pagans, and then later on it was adopted by the commercialism um, companies and everything like that. They created the commercialism in order for basically profit, so they could actually make some fake holidays that they could invent. So you went back and forth to the shop, you'd go buy stuff from them, and during those certain amount of times in the years, that their fucking sales would peak so high and shit because they've made fake holidays that allow you to believe what happens. For example, why the fuck is there an Easter bunny with fucking Easter? Where the fuck in the Bible does it say Easter bunny? says fuck all about that shit, it's just a make-up, magical fucking thing that's made up by the shops and then told to you that it's actually reality that used to exist in the actual real reality, which is fucking bullshit. So you think about that, like I said, everything is like this, I even mean, you look at Christmas itself, as I told you, outside of the Matrix, all laws are reversed for inside the Matrix, so you look at Christmas yourself, and what does it say backwards? Mass Christ. So what does Mass Christ mean? Mass Christ means the masses all have to find Christ. So it's saying for the masses to open up their Christ chakra to get in contact with consciousness. Because only when the whole world understands this and once again reopens up their connection to the God of one that is everything of everything in creation, that the one that is positive and negative but is neutral energy all the time, that actually manifests the physical reality through everything all the time and is everything in the physical reality and everything outside of the physical reality, is just the one. So that's it. So the only thing you're looking at is Christ mass 
being the mass Christ, so you actually have to understand that it's the masses that you have to understand that it's the masses that have to open up the Christ. Once we get rid of all of these understandings, once you you want to know how um uh, that the Antichrist ceases to exist, and you want to know how the Christ will return. Well, open up your Christ chakra. All the equals the same. Christ will return. You've opened up your Christ chakra. Everyone's returning Christ. The Antichrist is now fucking gone because everyone's opening their Christ chakra. So there's no anti of Christ no more. You see, all of these things are duality lesson put inside the matrix to teach you an allegory about the laws of duality of creation. Nothing more about fucking literal teaching of what happened to the perspective of a man that was actually physical manifestation inside the matrix. Because you got to remember, this is all like I said, vibrational frequency. So what tells you what is virtual reality that was loaded there in the past and what has actually been um, uh, scientific proof and physical reality that really did exist from the past? What is loaded into the game that already existed there before we come into the game? When did we enter into this fucking game? Was this construct always there of the ancient history? Was there fucking dinosaurs that really existed? You start thinking about stuff like this and then you figure out, well, all you need to do is put a fossil into the future and say that dinosaurs existed. No one can go fucking back and check. So you're going to brainwash the whole masses just by teaching them one thing that existed. Now, all you need to do is have um, uh, a couple of archaeological fucking buddies that are in together with making some fucking fake molds. Then you have to sell them because you get the one out, the one out there that's fucking um, the top to the world that can preach to everyone that, that everyone will believe straight away because he's the top in his field. And if he's paid off and he's fucking telling you something that he's been programmed to do or been paid off to do, you're not going to know fuck all any difference. All you're going to do is believe what you've been told by them because he's the person that's supposed to be in the fucking no and you're not going to go out and question it just like the indoctrination from school you're not going to go out and question anything they fucking told you in school because you're a little kid you've already been programmed as a little kid this is how it is you can't actually fucking turn around and say no this isn't what it's like teacher because you don't have any um first-hand experience in the matters so you actually just go along with what you're told because you're supposed to actually be told the right thing about the world that's what you're taught as a kid you go to school to learn about the world but hey if you was indoctrination who would give a fuck you wouldn't give a fucking shit about any of this shit so anyway i leave the rant like that that's um my christmas rant um i'm christian myself so i don't give a fuck what anyone says to me and shit you can call me fucking whatever you want to you blue in the fucking face but at the end of the day i can understand the true form of christ i'm not looking at um uh, allegories i'm not looking at the duality laws of teaching you that there's always a good and bad to god right throughout the whole fucking bible and not to mention the three abrahamic religions that actually the moment right now which is amazing you have the fucking arabs which are now fucking fighting the, the christians and everyone of the other western world saying that their religion is the right religion and the western world saying their religion is the right fucking religion but yet both religions come from the abrahamic religion so therefore they worship the same fucking god so the duality laws, once again, right in front of our plane of our fucking face in existence. Everything is a fucking puzzle. Everything is a game. And the matrix is fake. And that's all it is to all this shit. There's nothing that physically exists. Only in your mind it exists. Cheers. Cheers and Merry Christmas to everyone out there. And thanks for supporting my channel throughout this year. And trying to help people understand about the Mandela Effect. I may put up a um, small donation thing for myself so I can actually get by in life at the moment as I'm putting a lot of effort into making these videos and um, a lot's gone by. So, But I say um, uh, Merry Christmas to everyone out there and thank you to my brothers and sisters and I love you all and uh, I wish you a Merry Christmas. And to those that actually think I'm a pagan or whatever you fucking like to think I am, I ask you one question, all right? So if there's 41,000 different denominations of Christianity out there, and every single one of these denominations think that they have the correct God, then how can that be? How is that possible? 41,000. If you don't believe me, check the results for yourselves. Peace. All right, so I add this little bit quickly since I um, had this information. So um, everyone out there that thinks that the term and reference fallen angel references the satanic um, being falling down to the earth and the angels having their wings clipped because they're no longer part of heaven, all right? Um, this story has been dramatically misinterpreted of what the fucking truth is behind it all. What the truth is, is you as the pure source of creation or essence and singularity, the son of God or the, the child of God, all right, is... In divine love, ye are nothing but divine purity and love. So 
when you're in your spiritual light being essence, you feel like you're flying. You actually do feel like you're flying, even through the DMT release in your body naturally you can leave your body and you feel like you are flying you know that you have wings you can see the reference through um ancient history of the reason why angels were drawn with wings because it's the light being the essence that can leave the body and become the angel the essence of what we really are when we're outside of this matrix physical plane right so this is what we've got wrong we've we've taken the interpretation as a fallen angel as being bad because we are all fallen angels because an angel is a reference to nothing more than the pure source of creational light being the singularity of God, which we all are, of consciousness. So we are angels. That's the reference of that. And we are fallen because we are no longer divine and feel like we're flying. We have entered into the, um, the physical avatar inside of the matrix. And once we entered into the body... We, went, we lost our wings. We were then clipped of our wings because our body is nothing more but physically grounded into the matrix. We no longer feel like we fly. So we have lost the, um, the understanding in history of what the references of things are really meant to be because of the law of duality. See, the law of duality is always there to do two things. It's to advance and to hold back. This is why everything in duality is created like this. For example, um, the Bible itself, um, for example, if the, this is going to spin a lot of people out because if the Bible itself wasn't created to begin with, then Satan would not exist and Satanism would not exist. Is that not quite a fucking spun out fucking um, conundrum there, right? Or if you've got... Um, a, well, the only reason Satanism exists is because of Satan was deemed in the Bible. And the, um, uh, the, the three Abrahamic religions in the past um, uh, took this um, indoctrination uh, belief thought initiative program and reinforced it by taking over everywhere and reinforcing the religion. So therefore, the thought initiative programming become the main system programming of the um, the physical manifested matrix through the vibrational frequencies of consciousness. So the matrix then turned into this program is what it is and there's nothing else. But in reality, what the Bible is doing itself is actually holding back understanding at the same time as teaching God. Because the Bible itself says that there are two separate um, dualities to God, right? But we all know that Alpha and Omega and the one God that created um, in Genesis was one God. Even though it says um, uh, in Genesis, let us create these beings in our, our images. So what you're looking at is, um, this is another reference that most spin you out. So you've got Adam and Eve, all right? So Adam and Eve were created by God. We all know this, okay? So they're the manifestation of consciousness that was created by the pure source of creation or consciousness. So... What it is, is that Adam and Eve were the positive and the negative energies that were the female and the male energy. And because Eve, the female, stole from the apple the tree of knowledge, which is the divine knowledge of God, when you're in the divine knowing through your Christ chakra, you can enter the, the divine knowing. And this divine knowing then manifested through, it manifested into something else. So then that then created neutral um, energy that combined into one through the tree of knowledge. So then this physical matrix plane was then created, which is what the reference of Adam and Eve is all about. The whole indoctrination understanding of that is the female and negative energy combining to create one, the eight from the tree of knowledge that then manifested this physical reality. There probably was no being at all called Adam or Eve. It was all just a reference to the frequencies of energy that no one could understand at the time because, well, the ancient history was so um, indoctrinated in belief. But in ancient history as well, you've got to ask yourself, is the ancient history actually a viable source, a viable source to say that ever existed? As the matrix is just a creation of um, vibrational frequencies in the construct that actually could always have virtual reality program already loaded into it that is just there. Like, for example, you can say that um, millions of years ago, 
fucking dinosaurs existed or something like that. But all you really have to do is inside the Matrix program is when you created it is to have a dinosaur bone there, but then the other shit never even needed to exist because the virtual reality programming has already tried to teach you that that is what the, the actual physical real life understanding of history has always been. So there's that part. Um, uh, so we got the fallen angel references. We got that the only reason that Satan does exist is because the Bible exists. And there's no way around that. There's the only way and the only reason. And see, the Bible itself is holding the world to be two confronting sides. So you have the good and the bad trying to fight each other all the, all the time. When the only time that you can love thy enemy and to remove conflict is to stand in the middle and realize everything is just one. Mm. So then you've got rid of conflict so you can love thy enemy because everything can then work in harmony. So that's my end of the rant, and I thought I'd add that little bit in, so it'll give people um, a bit more of insight of what's going on. So, cheers. Uh, when I say you'll never ever get there at the beginning with um, using the Christian religion or another kind of religion, what I mean is... You won't get there as fast as you can reach your uh, glorified or spirit body um, uh, any way you really like. As long as you have the faith and the belief behind there to understand and um, uh, feel the connection to God, you can do it any way possible, that you really, any way you really want. But what I'm trying to relay is, is in the messages that I'm trying to um, teach is that major religions of uh, all kinds of nominations or, or, um, denominations around the whole world actually always bring it back to trying to use the um, chakra points and the third eye to connect into consciousness. But in reality, like um, uh, like you could be talking to a tree and it'd be stuck in the middle of the wilderness just speaking to a tree, just you and that tree. And through your um, connection and understanding, eventually you will understand that you can talk to God. It's just the um, perceived... Um, uh, inception of uh, how to take the words um, uh, that have been written and uh, how it is perceived by one's mind as each individual perceives a different references to many different things so at the end of the day everything is the same but each individual throughout history has perceived the same message but relayed it down in a different kind of format to bring to the same place. But like I said, um, uh, everything in the Matrix is reversed. So you have to put that into context and understanding of it all as well. So I just want people out there to know, after listening to this, no, I'm not um, uh, slandering anyone. I'm not trying to discredit anyone or condemn anyone. All I'm trying to say is what I've been brought to from uh, um, the consciousness on the one itself to what I'm supposed to relay and tell you, and uh, even if it sounds harsh, I'm supposed to say it, so God bless you, and I hope you can understand that and where I'm coming from. All right, peace. Uh, one last thing I did want to say is uh, I've had a few debates with people out here all the time and that, that actually say, oh, well, well, I study my Bible all the time, blah, 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 right? Now, yes, you love to use your Bible. That's awesome. And... Uh, from me, you have um, praise, whatever you want from it, right? But in reality, this is the understanding of God. God does not really care. And uh, he is going to love you, whether you be a bum on the street, a criminal walking around, a cop, or a person that just doesn't even fucking believe in him sometimes. It all depends on... Uh, if you've had that um, either trauma that has taken you to the understanding of experience or if you just have faith and belief that he has always been there and that there's always been that higher being watching over you and you've always known it and you've always felt the love from it and you've always, always known it. That's all you, that's all you had to do. There could be a bum on the street that walks down the side of the road that can know God better than the most holiest man on the planet that says he's holy, that reads scripture every day, but hasn't found God. Thanks. Thanks. And um, the main reason the Bible is actually put there is for 
self lessons to oneself in order to find enlightenment through themselves through um, putting themselves into trance state and actually learning the lesson inside of it that it is all about the Christ which is the Christ chakra and etc like that so that's the only reason why that exists and every other religion exists to the point that you actually find it that way like I said you can do it either way through um, natural selection of um, over time opening your Christ chakra through the natural ability that you have inside of you depends how strong your um, spirit is inside your body and how quick it wants to relate to the physical that there is spirit there or if it's just um, what you force upon it by opening up uh, knowledge that you remember because everyone knows everything all the time and all we do is help each other remember what we already know and one of the uh, main things that the Bible teaches a lot of Christians out there that aren't following it one to the T is do not persecute those that come forwards and speak the name and in the name of Christ and say things that in the name of Christ because if you've noticed a lot of the Mandela effect people that have had to be subjected to this experience to understand that we are sons of God we are all speaking the same way and we are all trying to teach you about the reality of what you think is not the existence of what it really is but it really is that so please remember that verses and that teaching inside of the Bible to all those out there Uh, with my last reference, what I'm going to talk about is, um, just quickly, is how the Bible talks about the sons of men and the sons of God. So, um, in the understanding that I've got from consciousness, what the sons of God are is actually what we always are. We are the light beings, we are forgiven for all eternal sins, and basically, we are sinless. We can never ever be judged, we are 100% um, forgiven for anything that we do when we manifest into the um uh, the son of man which is the physical avatar the body so when we are the son of man we can sin and we can be judged for our sins and everything like that as you're aware of if you go out and you stab someone well you're going to go to court and you're going to be judged for your sin and according to man you will be punished but because we are actual light beings um uh, trying to experience the every emotion possible outside of divine love that means um, hate, uh, aggression, uh, um, depression, uh, grieving everything that you can imagine possible that we can never ever experience is why we do what we do so to get the understanding of it there, there is no judgment for what you actually deemed out of um, the understanding of uh, biblical terms and uh, past religions how, how every religion points down to a judgment there is no judgment for the children or the sons of God as you are with God you know what God is and you have your connection with God just like you always should have you are a son of God only when being a son of man and uh, losing your connection to the faith or the understanding that you are a spiritual being inside of a avatar that's grounded into the physical plane through vibrational frequencies and all that, you know all that but this is the Satan, like I said before, this is the satanic realm. The physical is the satanic realm. We come from uh, the light, um, purity of divine love realm, which is the heaven. This is supposed to be the hell, but we didn't make it the hell, so but we don't need to make it a hell anyway. All we have to do is balance the duality understanding, like I said before. So... That was my quick chuck-in of what the actual um, sons of God versus the sons of man are. At the moment, you have people in the Ryan Spur that are being the sons of man a lot because they're not comprehending that the Mandela Effect was a real phenomenon and that um, quantum mechanics is basically now present in our everyday life and a lot of us are still shifting all the time. If you're an energy reader, you can feel the constant uh, move through the energies and you can see the... Um, shifting throughout parallel universes of slight different frequencies and stuff like that. So CERN's 100% still doing it. There's no doubt about that. And we're going to see new manifestations into the physical reality once again sooner or later. So I wouldn't be surprised any more people out there. So this is what it's all about. The people here um, actually are being the, the sons of man because 
They are living in the physical matrix. They are believing everything inside of the physical matrix is the only thing possible. There is a something when they die. They don't know what it is. They question it. And this is what it is to be a son of man. What, what you understand as a son of God is that you are a quantum being. You are infinite to every parallel reality in it, just the, the creation from alpha to omega. You exist in singularities in every single um, parallel universe, multiverse, superverse, right through to um, uh, every single collective is one part of you in every parallel that's your own collective. So that's what we have to understand. We are infinite. We don't need to be immortal and all this crap. There's no point being immortal as a physical avatar. Why would you want to stay in the plane when there's um, so much experience here, but there's divine love there, and that is what it is to be a child of God and a son of God and versus the son of man. So I hope that helps. Thanks. Uh, I just had a quick big boring to the end of it. So um, another thing is like, uh, so we shifted and we understand that we were pure source of creational consciousness. You could understand that you're a spirit. Understand that you're a spirit. Once you were figured out your avatar changed, you understood that you're a spirit and you got the sense of you're a spirit. And then you felt that you were the spirit. You were the energy inside the game character or the body or the avatar, whatever you want to call. You could actually feel that you're the controller. See, that's what it is to be a son of God. You understand that you're not the physical, but you are the spirit that's controlling everything. That is called a son of God. The son of man believes that um, they don't have that energy inside of them. They are actually full-on 100% physical body. They can't feel um, energy. They can't do, do thought initiative programming. They just can't get outside of the matrix programming of the governor to understand that there's more to the understanding of uh, creation than the see and the know of what the matrix only teaches you you can that's the whole um, idea of being a son of a uh, son of man is to not understand outside of the construct of the matrix and believe everything inside of the matrix is the only thing possible in existence ever when the sons of god realize that everything in the matrix is us and everything that is ever to be is us and we are a singularity of everything that is to be, which is the great one pure source creational consciousness. And that is what it is to be a son of God. Investigation into a rape. G'day YouTube and everyone out there. Um, so I'm going to do a quick rant on explaining um, a few other things. So everyone through the um, subconscious already knows everything that I'm going to tell you right now. It's just And through the superconscious is always there, but the conscious mind is the one that doesn't relay anything to you. That is the actual fact of what reality is. For example, um, if you think about the way that we're pushed in life um, through trends and quotes that we use in everyday life, like I said in my last video, um, the... Oh, life's a game, man. Yeah, your game or oh, everything like that turns out from game, right? So you've got in your life right now all these other quotes that are around you that actually tells you that the world is made of consciousness energy and that you run from a frequency of energy and all you are is a singularity of the full one collective consciousness of the full one. So you look at the sayings I'm going to say, oh, man, um, uh, that person gives you bad vibes. That person gives you good vibes. Hey, man, we're on the same wavelength. 
You get what I'm saying? All of these things are corresponding to you already knowing that through the subconscious that everything is already frequency in reality. So you have um, uh, the natural, like if you look at the natural release of DMT, you're actually experiencing what you should at the beginning of your birth and the beginning of death. Now, with the DMT on this, I'm going to explain about DMT. So with DMT, what it is, is the natural ability of yourself to log in and log out. But we lose all ability of how to know how to do it, etc. Unless you connect through um, consciousness and reawaken all that um, uh, the ability of the procedure to understand of how you can do it. So you're looking at the reality of um, uh, looking at the DMT. You use DMT when you come into the world when you're born, okay? That's the only time you use it. Then, then you restore it all the way through your life. And then when you die, so if you are going to get beaten by a shark or anything like that, your consciousness energy of the singularity through the DMT um, uh, release through the uh, pineal gland and the pituitary gland, through then through the connection of Christ um, consciousness through the um, the Christ energy through the Christ eye or the violet chakra connecting to the full consciousness of one, you eject out of your body before feeling any pain. So if that shark was about to rip down and its teeth were about to go into you, your body would have already used its natural DMT to eject the consciousness back into the, the main consciousness, ready for you to recycle into the next um, evolution of the game or <clears throat> whatever you choose for your next avatar. So that's what that's all about with that. So we're looking at um, uh, everything in reality is already physical. Um, uh, that, that everything that is already physical is made from consciousness energy. We all know that. The Mandela effect, people know that we're full 100% consciousness and that's it. Um, people ask me and say, oh, well, that's a theory. No, it's not really a theory anymore because uh, if you look at science themselves right now, you'll figure out that they themselves are actually starting to say the stuff that I know, but I know a lot more than what they're saying right now. But Consciousness does um, manifest a physical reality. There's nothing that ever exists. And the only reason that you think it's physical is by the vibrational senses around you, the the, um, uh, the human resonance frequency, cymatics, the endocrine system, and your emotional field energies of the body mixed with the avatar senses allows you to feel and see everything physical and solid to the touch. But in reality... You're made of everything else that's around you exactly the same. Just inside the matrix, we have a different name for different things and different procedures of it. So, now we're talking about um, uh, how to connect to the consciousness, okay? So, you want to open up your your imagine, thought initiative programming and your imagination and you want to um, connect by feeling the energy flow opening up your violet chakra on the front of your head. And you want to feel your connection through to consciousness. And then all you've got to do is you have to remember who you are. Not what you are in the matrix. What you are as a full, pure soul light being. And that's how you get your remembering. And that's how you go into a thing called divine knowing. And when you're in divine knowing, everything that you know is the connection to the one. And everything that you, told, you are told is exactly how everything is. And you get to stand with God. Basically, that's how you feel. You are with God in the divine. There's no divine love that you could ever feel possible to the creation of what you feel when you're in the connection of the knowings. So that's what that is. Um, with all this um, drugs, right? So the reason why I said about DMT before is, well, you look at the way that society is created, okay? He's created, okay? Society at the moment is created so... Drug influence are everywhere. Now, people out there can say, oh, because of the war on, ter the war on drugs and the war on terror. What a lot of shit. The, the fact is, is we didn't want drugs. The, they could stop them importing them into the country and that, but the government makes money off drugs. That's the plain, simple thing of that. But that's not where I'm going. What I'm talking about here is, why is there such a big trend in the consciousness collective of the manifested fake, um, physical fake matrix all got trends of these drugs. Why is it all pushing for people to use drugs, okay? So what happens is it, it, when you get on drugs, it actually allows you to open up your consciousness connection through to the one. So, but the problem is it's only a temporary connection to what you really can do. It's just a, it's more of a hint for you to use a drug for you to be able to get in contact with the one consciousness of God. 
because everything in the reality is just hints and put in there like puzzles and that that you have to figure out yourself. So drugs are put here to teach you the understanding of that you yourself have to release the DMT in your brain for the actual connection of consciousness to get strong and allow you to get in contact with God and find out who God is. This is why consciousness keeps spilling all um, all these new drugs and everything, right? Everyone in Australia at the moment's on fucking ice. So everyone's walking around in a daze, but they're actually in a connection to consciousness, learning that they have to take a drug later on to be able to get in contact with God. There's no um, imperfection inside of the matrix plane. It's all put here for... Um, communication from the one pure source of creational consciousness to let us manifest the knowing of what it is really all about. The reason why you have things like crossword puzzles um, uh, and everything else that's puzzles in this game is to also teach you that everything inside of this matrix is a puzzle and it's not just self-explanatory straight out to you. You actually have to do some study, some research, and you have to connect the dots to understand the full workings of inside of the matrix and all the programming inside of the matrix. And without um, connecting the dots, you're never going to find out anything of what really exists. So that's you've got the DMT, you've got the crosses, you've got the chessboard game, You've got the duality laws. All these things that I'm, I'm bringing to you are all um, what I've been fed 100% from consciousness. I've, I've seen my own miracle. I won't go into that, but I've had family witness it too. So, But the, to, you to, you got to release the DMT, and once you can release the DMT naturally through meditation and through your connection to consciousness, you will then be in contact with the one, and you will find out really what God is, as God is nothing but the the... Um, positive um, creational consciousness energy and the negative creational consciousness energy that's combined to make the neutral energy itself and that neutral energy is what God is it's just the intentions like I said before of the practitioner or user that allow that consciousness energy to be manifested um, that way into the physical reality for the desire of that person or the practitioner so that's all that is so um, that's what I'll leave it at for now. So thanks, and I uh, hope you enjoyed listening. And God bless, brothers and sisters. Peace. Yeah, g'day everyone, YouTube again. So I'm um, just going to do a quick little brief message in that. So, um, uh, so we basically are stuck in the chess game, like I explained in my um, uh, "Why Does Consciousness Exist" video. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, uh, so you're looking at all of the, um, prophet, prophetic, um, uh, uh, fucking knowledge that has been left throughout history, right? You're looking at the Mayans, you're looking at the, um, Zulus, you're looking at all these ancient tribes and everything that knew a lot more than us in the modern day, that which, which we actually know that they knew it, but we can't understand how they did. Now, the reason why is, is because they understood that the consciousness energy is all that exists. So what they did, they understood that there was different frequencies of consciousness awareness. And um, the Mayan calendar itself, as far as I've been revealed now, is that the Mayan calendar was nothing but an awareness calendar. And the real, the real reason why it was called the Armageddon is because everyone knows that Armageddon comes from the, where the um, Greek meaning or whatever, which actually meant revealed which is to just reveal something. So the revealing or the awakening or the awareness of that consciousness energy is going to understand once again why its purpose is there and what it's here to really do. And after the Mandela effect, the only thing that's happened is, is that we as singularities of the consciousness collective have become more aware to the situation that there is a quantum reality in existence and quantum reality is right now and now in the present day. So after we've come to this um, realization that we are actually quantum, we've actually awoken ourselves in each different frequency of the singularity of each dimension, which we are now self-aware of our own co coexistence in the same um, uh, consciousness energy, which we have never done well that we've remembered in the previous past before in this experience of this modern day reality or this construct of game that we've designed, this run that we were coming to do. So... You're looking at all of this pointing to one thing, okay? So 
Our, you look at what the test of the game is. The test of the game is to remove judgment because judgment holds you from unconditional love, which holds you from understanding that it's a game. When you hold judgment, you find things like murder, kill, death, everything like that, that's bad. You start using um, a stereotype programming of your subconscious of what you've been taught that reality is, and you forget what really is going on. And what really is going on, us on the outside are the telepathic electromagnetic um, consciousness energies and we're standing on the chessboard and we are creating this one consciousness energy that we call God or whatever frequency of um, worship that inside that people have deemed this um, one conscious energy and uh, it itself has made the game so hard that we can't get the grasp of what it's really about. Now, what it's really about is to become one collective again. Now, as stupid and, and fucking how... Uh, many brains just popped and said one world order, new world order. I hate to tell you, but the Illuminati know it's a game. This is not a construct of them getting ready to design the world so they can run everything because they already know that there is nothing else and shit except for the consciousness energy. They've been using it and hiding it at the same time as flaunting it in front of our faces, hoping that people would finally wake up and understand what's really going on inside the collective. There is no... Um, uh, bad deity that's going to come back and rule the world. There's nothing. The whole understanding of um, breaking away from uh, mixing up fucking judgment brings you to the understanding of when you can leave and see through DMT what everything really is on the outside. And what we are on the outside is what we have to become on the inside. And this is what um, all the higher um, occult cunts and the secret societies all fucking know. They know that Inside, we have to become one collective. So they have secret societies where they become one collective, you see. They don't allow the full collective to become the full understanding. They just allow their little singularities of collective that they're building for their own intent. So what we need to do is, since the whole um, program is basically to get together as one and be one world and to understand that we are just one, is to get away all of the breaking up of the countries, get away of the individuality that has been pushed through humanity to make sure that we are individual, as the game is nothing more but to understand that if we really want to leave the game, then we have to join together as a collective. I mean, the entire collective of who's real, because there are non-playing characters inside of the Matrix, just like you play a um, computer game that is put down into the, the physical reality from the consciousness of, sing of singularity, put down from consciousness itself, into here as a hint, every single game shows that you are the player yourself and that's all that exists. Or if you log in with a buddy, then it's you and your buddy. But everyone else in when your buddy, but everyone else inside of that game construct is a non-playing character, which is just part of the game program and the game graphics. They don't have a soul. They don't possess the electromagnetic kundalini. They don't have anything at all. Or they are a written program into the matrix. When you understand that there are these players inside of the matrix that actually are just computer program, then you can understand that when you see death and murder and everything like that that is on the news, mind you, the fucking news, the mainstream news that never tells you anything the truth, but you believe shit that they show you is the fucking death and everything like that. Now, these deaths could very well be, um, half the time, the non-playable characters. Now, they're searching far and wide for fucking swabbing us for DNA. Have you ever thought that the government actually knows that there are these non-playable characters that are actually in the Matrix... So they want to find who's the real players and who's not the real players. And then they can use the the um, uh, the non-playing characters as a wake-up call for us because they keep fucking killing the non-playing characters and we keep fucking thinking, well, they're killing us. But what they're really doing is driving us to look at what the fuck they're doing. And what they're doing is trying to awaken us in the long run that we're in nothing but an electromagnetic consciousness created by vibrational frequency game that we come here for 100% to experience um, everything that we can't do in our own reality, where we are from, and that is our home, which is heaven. And that's all this is. Cheers. I'll add this quick in the end of the, um, before I end it. So um, you're looking at everyone right now talking about the strong delusion, the strong delusion, the strong delusion, right? The strong delusion has been that you've been thinking reality is real. This is where you are now ascending and becoming through natural um, evolution, not Darwin's fucking evolution, but natural consciousness evolution, becoming the higher being that we've always supposed to be. This is the 
great delusion being broken away and the Mandela effect was the start of it. Cheers. Alright, g'day YouTube and everyone out there. Alright, so I'm going to explain a lot in this um, uh, voice and um, uh, if I offend some people out there, I don't mean to because um, uh, me, myself, I'm all about Yahweh. Yahweh is my God and everything comes from Yahweh. So I want you to know that before I say what I'm going to say. Alright, I am myself a Reiki healer and a... Um, spiritual field healer um, uh, and a seer so through the consciousness connection I can retrieve information um, from a single as a singularity from the collective consciousness of the one right the one is Yahweh so I'm gonna relay my information of what I've been told to say now this is going to be hard to grasp for a lot of people because of indoctrination and indoctrination has been a hard thing to overcome for everyone as we're still playing the indoctrination game in the matrix. Um, so where do I start? Okay. So we are in a manifested by consciousness, energy, vibrational frequency game. Okay. So everything in this reality is a game. Now, you know for a fact that through the shift of the Mandela effect that our consciousness is not part of our avatar or physical body, we should say, as our consciousness shifted to the new body, hence new game level. So now I'm going to explain what I've seen, okay? So once I opened up all my chakras and the energy flowed through, I spoke to Yahweh and I speak to Yahweh a lot. So, um... Yahweh showed me that what we are and what we really are outside of this game is light beings that are standing on a get this checkered floor just like the Mason's fucking um, floor or the chessboard and we are resonating energy from our hands because we're standing in the shape of a cross with our arms out and we're on each square um, the positive and the negative squared, so you're white and the black, see? You have the positive face in one way and the black face in the other. And uh, we have our Kundalini open, so on every single um, spiritual being on the chessboard. And uh, energy is flowing through our hands to the next, and to the next, and to the next, until you have a full um, consciousness grid of energy, Okay. That is what we really are doing right now. This that we're in is a holographic projection through vibrational frequencies of consciousness. We um, are not in this game. The ones from Mandela Effect will know what I mean because you know what consciousness is. So I've explained to you is what we really are, okay? So... Now the matrix. The matrix is the matrix itself is filled with programs. It's filled with um a a, a a governor to keep everyone entrapped in the matrix. See, the matrix is the most um uh, advanced uh, vibrational um, holographic illusion of reality that you can imagine. The 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 matrix here is all about being stuck in your avatar not understanding that your consciousness and uh, that everything that you do has a cause and that you have to live a certain way because fear or indoctrination has pulled you into one direction of your lifestyle. Now, as to what I've seen, that's wrong because I've been told 100% that Everything is made of consciousness. Everything is the pure source of creation of consciousness. Yahweh Elohim. So through Elohim telling me through my contact with Elohim, I've been revealed that everything is like wrong as what we think it is. Inside the, in, outside the matrix is peaceful, calm, surreal. 
That's where we are. We are creating a game. We are gamers. We like to game. Hence the consciousness of the one. Remember, everything is a consciousness manif uh, manifestation of um, collective um, imagination, thought, initiative, programming into the 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 um, singularities and the other collectors of each layer that manifest the physical reality. We create the game as we go. So at the moment we have um, at the moment we have um, programs inside the game. Now, like I said, um, I'm a hundred percent Yahweh. So I'm sorry to a lot of people out there because you just don't like this, but I'm going to have to say it because it is what it is, and it just is what it is. Um, so. Yahweh is good and bad. There is no good and bad um, uh, anything else. Everything is Yahweh from Alpha to Omega. Everything was created by Yahweh, including the good and the bad. Now, everyone looks at this as a bad thing, but the problem is we are taking life as literal. This is not literal. This is a game. I'm, this is 100% a game created by the consciousness of pure source of creation for its children. We are the children. This is the... Do you think about it, all right? So you have reality right now, which is, um, uh, you know, which is all pure source of creation of consciousness. Nothing can exist in this reality because it's all part of the one, correct? So anyone putting any information inside of the one is the one itself trying to tell you and give you hints, correct? Okay, so let's have a look at reality. What has reality turned to lately? Big trends on games. Big trends on trying to make games better. Big trends on this. What's the difference between um, a game running programming of numbers and reality running a program of numbers, which has been scientifically proven? Not a thing. What I'm trying to see, everything is the same. You think about um, the messages inside the matrix, inside this matrix. You have movies called The Matrix. You have movies called The Gamer. All of these... Um, uh, these um, imaginations or thought initiative programs or downloads come from the pure source of creation consciousness into our singularity to manifest into the um, uh, hologram matrix as our understanding. All it is is hints. Everything is a hint. Like I explained to you on the outside of the, um, like out outside of the, 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 um, the matrix is the chessboard, right? So on the, ma on the chessboard, what did I say? We have crosses and we have the chessboard, right? The cross light beings and the chessboard. So now let's come back into reality. Let's have a look at similarities of what we can find that are inside the game matrix. Remember, this is not real. This is a manifestation of um, vibrational frequencies through the collective consciousness energy. That's it. So what I say, this is not real. It is 100% not fucking real. So, um, so now let's look at the similarities. So we got the Masons. The secret society inside um, the Matrix telling everyone about, um, or keeping secret about the Masonic floor and the checkered board floor, correct? All right, we have a big reference there to the outside knowing of what really is going on. All right, so let's have a look around. How many crosses are prominent inside of the Matrix to give you another hint of what's going on outside? It's all everywhere around us. Um, you look at all of the uh, movies and stuff that come out. You have to remember that nothing is created from nothing. Everything comes from the consciousness of the one. Everything is manifested by the consciousness of the one. So what we are trying to do as a collective right now, and everything is pushing towards the game trend and everything like that, think about it. We, as consciousness of the one, as singularities uh, from the collective, are working to try to tell the consciousness itself to wake up because it's a game. That's the reason why everything's coming out to show you games. We, when we first enter the world, we know that when we're here, we're to have fun. Everything's fun. There's no indoctrination system. There's no programming. It's all fun. We entered the game to have fun. This is what the game is about. I've been told to say um, that everything's getting too serious. This game is not about being serious. The serious is keeping you inside the game from not understanding it's a game. You think about um, uh, what you do in a game, okay? So now that I understand what now I'm trying to, now I explain like what I'm saying about um, the game and all, etc. like that. So my game example in the Sagittarius arm was during my star sign, it said, that I should become addicted, get off it, and I went into monkhood, right? 
So I actually did that in my, in my star sign of Sagittarius arm. Hence, this is my new level of the game. I have a new um, a new zodiac now, which in my reality only twelve existed. But now in this new game level, there's thirteen. So it just happens to be that I happen to be the most hardcore fucking one out there that you can think of. That's out fighting the Illuminati, studied the Illuminati, thought they were the most evilest scum on the earth. Okay, so. Now, you can understand where I'm coming from. So, this is all my background. So, I hate the Illuminati, all right, until I found out what I'm going to reveal to you. And after that, I hope this can give you some understanding and insight. Now, in the Bible, it says, love thy enemy, right? So, I've already told a lot of people that we have to love the Illuminati, correct? So, to get rid of the Illuminati is to get rid of the indoctrination of the Illuminati, to get rid of the fear of the Illuminati. So what we've got to do is break through to the real understanding of what's really going on, because the Matrix is filled with puzzles and puzzles on top of each other. If you look at, um, for example, um, uh, you look at what the Illuminati used, the all-seeing eye, okay? So you know consciousness itself if you if you've meditated you will know 100% through your um uh, your violet chakra uh, your your knowing you will actually see and you see in one eye you don't have two eyes when you see so the representation of that is the illuminati know that this is a game and what they're doing is they're playing the enemy we have to have good and we have to have bad to have a good game you think about reality and you think about a computer game what is computer games showing you right now? Sims are showing you that the complicity of a, a game can get bigger and bigger and bigger. Every game is getting to um, virtual reality and etc. like that. What is the consciousness of one showing us in the collective? It's showing us that everything is a game. Why else would it manifest everything into the reality to be doing with games? Why is it that everything is game like um, sports? Everything is games. Right now you have um, kids to adults that are gamers. And this is all in the one's consciousness. Remember this. This is all in the matrix. All this is a hint to allow us to awaken, to understand that we're in a game. The only difference is, is um, when we play a game on um, a, a console or PC or anything like that, is when you start off your game, you get a walk. I mean, a a um a menu and a introduction to the game. You get the tutorial of how to play the game. This game is so complex that you didn't even start off with that in your life. But you knew as a child that it was fun and the game was all about playing a game. That was it. I mean, the world was all about playing a game and that was it. That's the reason why you run around having fun, etc. like that. And then after that, it gets a indoctrination program on top of that and top of that. That brings you into the understanding of it's the Matrix. See, um, the Matrix itself inside has its own programs. Um, like, like I say, Yahweh is everything, all right? Everything is Yahweh. Good and bad and everything is Yahweh. Satan does not fucking exist. No Buddha exists. Nothing like this exists because you have to get it through the construct of reality that there's nothing in reality. So if nothing exists, how can that exist? All it is is a... Um, constructed program from Archon put into the actual matrix as itself and to run the history of programs. Now, each religion tells you to wait in the matrix over and over and over again, correct? Well, this is, the, this is what religion does. It binds you to the matrix to not understand that it's a game. Everything is a game. The Illuminati, um, uh, what they know is that we are stuck in the game. And this is going to sound insane because I can't believe to a lot of you out there, I'm fucking saying this, trust me, eh? But I understand and know this is what it is. And this is the most craziest. Everything is created from Yahweh, okay? That you have Satanism shit and all this fucking stereotype crap of bad of Yahweh. And then you have um, uh, the good, um, the, 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 the Bible and all the other um, good religions, which are all the good of Yahweh. How the fuck does that exist? It can't exist because Yahweh is just one and one collectiveness. So therefore, everything is how it is. It's supposed to be the way it is because Yahweh is perfect. And there's no imperfection in Yahweh's design of the game. Get it? Game. What are we playing? We're playing the game as if it's real life. And it's our bodies and um, we have to do this and we have to do the fear um, uh, and the terror programming inside the Matrix actually um, interfere with you 
trying to do through free will what you want to do, that you get indoctrinated into the style of program, and then you're stuck in that path. Hence, right now, Illuminati taking over the world and all this bullshit. But I understand the reason why Illuminati want order out of chaos is because to have order in the game is to have chaos. Because that's what it is. If, if you look at the consciousness, the one giving us games, okay? Satan's not giving us fucking games, all right? The, the one is giving us beautiful games that you can build houses in and everything like that. But the one, Yahweh, is also giving us games where you can kill people and run around and shoot people and have fun. Because it's all about fun. Everything inside the Matrix is nothing more than to hide. It's a game. Like, you look at everything. What does religion do? Bind you into the Matrix. Um, what does science and shit do? Bind you into the Matrix. You may think you're learning inside the Matrix, but it's all binding you into the Matrix. Nothing exists in the Matrix. So, therefore, what what the, what is in the Matrix should be game-like. You should be logging in and logging out and doing what the fuck you want in the Matrix. Because it's just a game. This is what I've been told to tell. So, what what you have to do is understand that the Illuminati, alright, this is the craziest one out of all of this, they know it's a game, and they're playing a side of the game. See, they have to produce um, uh, the fear and everything like that for the simple reason we need an enemy. And without an enemy, we couldn't become awake. To what's going on. If there's no enemy, we couldn't see bullshit going on. So therefore, we couldn't awaken to the bullshit. So we needed to have an enemy for us to fucking see the truth. And now that we're seeing the truth, you know, you look at, like I said, reality, reptilians, flat earth, um, masons, all of this shit is game structure. It's a game level design. It's not real. It's, um, uh, like, for example, the Mandela Effect people, what just happened to us. We, we shifted from one game level into the next. That's the reason why you've now seen manifestations of um, new animals, um, new logos, um, uh, manipulations to movies, etc. Because this is a new design of level. It's nothing to do, or we did shift through CERN, etc. like that. But we are quantum as well. We just jumped to another game board, the level, or the next, the next level. That's what I mean. But, um, so what we got through the explanation of that is that we're quantum to start with. So everything's quantum, so we know that. So we know that the one consciousness that we're all connected with is creating everything physical. So therefore, Yahweh is good and bad. So therefore, that everything in the world itself is exactly perfect the way it should be. We're supposed to jump in this game. We're supposed to shoot each other. We're supposed to drive around being idiots. Or we're supposed to build a nice little house peacefully. It's all about... The game, right? The game, this game is all about entering it and not knowing that you're in a game. This is the funniest fucking thing of all of it because um, if you think about when you play a game, the, the best scenario for you to be able to play a game is if you didn't know you were playing a game. That's when you get the most enjoyment out of it because it's a mystery and everything is just riddles on riddles on riddles on riddles. See, when you first come into the world, you knew you were playing a game. That's how come you didn't care, you're careless, you did that, you did that as a kid because you just didn't care. You knew what it was like to come in to play the game. After everything got you, it stopped. So what we need to do as reality to actually fix this is understand that everything in the world is below him. The, the Illuminati are created by the One. The CERN is created by the One. We are created by the One. Um, the Bible is created by the One. Everything is created by Yahweh. There is no other. There's only one, and that's Yahweh. So everything in existence is that. That's what you have to understand. So what should happen is, is when we enter the world, we should have a class in school that allows us to... Um, learn as to, to actually learn as um, uh, like for example we come straight out from the womb we learn how to walk we go to kindy in kindy you should be taught you're nothing but pure source of energy consciousness you should be taught that we're all connected and how the game works Work everything through imagination the, the um, thought initiative programming is how free will manifest the vibrational frequency of the physical reality. So 
then we have a starting manual to understand that we're playing the game. Because after we understand we're playing the game, we can do whatever we want. It's free will. The whole point of this game is to jump into it. We've got free will. I mean, isn't this what we're striving for right now in the Matrix with all of these games that we build? Isn't the game designer striving for a game exactly like this where you can get free will, you can do this, there's random number generators, everything like this inside the game is exactly what it is outside the game. The only reason that that exists right now in the consciousness as a hint. Everything from the consciousness is a hint. You get to, um, <clears throat> going back into history, here's a nice little one for the, um, uh, the Mandela effectors out there. So we got the, um, uh, the Vicinci man or whatever, right? That, that has his arms standing out in the old reality from Da Vinci that only had a circle around him. So that was a representation of the, the energy aura around the man. Okay. So you had his arms out already. So that's a representation that he was on the board, on the floor. They already knew that there was, he was standing on this chessboard that I'm talking about where we are. It's a, it's a um, hint to what's going on outside the game. So we had that. And now since the Mandela effect, what happened to it? It got a square added around the outside of it, did it not? So there you have your fucking tile piece that you're standing on inside of the, um, the, the chessboard. Everything inside of the reality, inside the matrix, shows you hints that nothing really exists except for one thing. And that's to have fun and it's a game. You want to know how to love my enemy? The Illuminati are trying to let you log out. This is the craziest thing out of all. Everything in the game is twisted. This is why it's so fun. Because everything has backwards meanings. Like um, uh, a cult. A cult to me uh, means satanic, bad, evil. But no, it really is just means hidden teachings and shit. That's all it means. It's just a stereotype inside of the game that um, uh, indoctrinates this kind of programming so the game can continue. That's about it. But out of the reality of it, it's nothing. Nothing inside the game is what it seems. You think death is really bad. Okay, what happens when you fucking jump into a game and you log out? Do you think that when you logged out was bad? You know you got sick of the game. You wanted to leave. It's over. People should have the, should have the understanding of this. This is not armor. Um, like, understand all of the sayings of everything throughout history. Like, people would look at you wrong and shit and say this, but after I've explained it to you, like, think about this. Order out of chaos, right? That's the, that's the Mason's favorite fucking motto, right? Now, for me to say this is a lot, fucking trust me, hey, because I fucking used to hate these cunts with something with a passion until I've seen what I've seen. So, um, order out of chaos. They want to create order so they can create chaos in the world, right? And what's chaos? Chaos is a good game. You know, everything's running around and it should be chaos because that's what a game is. It's about having fucking fun. And there's no, there's no, um, uh, dark energy, Satan and shit like that. It's all indoctrination stereotype into the matrix. Everything is just here to have fucking fun. You look at, you look at a dog. What does a dog want to do the most in its life? Play. Because it's here to have fun. You look at a kid. What does a kid play? Because it's here to have fun. What do you want to do as an adult? Sit down and watch the fucking sports sometimes. Because you're here to have fun. All of these hints are right there in front of your face to realize that we are sitting inside a matrix hologram um, that is created through us, consciousness, as the one, through singularities of the collective and through vibrational frequencies manifesting the physical reality. And we do it as we go through our imagination. That's why you're told in school, don't daydream. Because that's all, um, when you think, you're not actually thinking with your brain. What you're doing is you are connecting through to the um, consciousness energy through your um, chakras, all right? And uh, through, your, through your pineal gland and your chakras, right? You are actually taking a bit of information from the one. Even how we speak, even I'm the one right now speaking to you, and you are the one right now listening to me. I'm telling you myself that we have to wake up. This is what the whole thing is right throughout the entire, um, uh, the, the, the whole game level design. You look at what I'm saying, you'll see so many synchronicities to everything that I say that it, it is insane. I'll bring out more on this when I um, get my head clear because I've had so many downloads to this situation and I understand how hard it is for people out there to get the grasp of this because, hey, 
it's indoctrination that it's always been right throughout history. But everything inside is just meant for to have fun, meant to have a game. Life and death is meant to be, death should be celebrated and life should be celebrated. Not mourning, mourning when people leave, etc. like that, because they're about to check out of their game. They're going to another game. We are gamers. God is an infinite gamer. That's the reason why he's showing you that through manifestation of reality. Every single thing that we're going towards is to show you we are gamers. Now, why would the actual consciousness of the one take us that direction in the physical manifestation of reality if it wasn't trying to tell us exactly what's going on? We are gamers. All right, so that's my rant. It's a long one, so I hope you just fucking got the gist of it because there's a lot more that I could bring out and I will in the future. So peace and love, brothers and sisters. All right, so I didn't actually finish my rant there. So um, um, so what I'm going to tell you more is about like the Illuminati and how it all corresponds to what's going on. So we have the Georgia Guidestones, which says that keep um, mankind balanced with perpetual nature, right? So... Yeah, um, we have the yin and the yang. Everything is inside of the collective consciousness from the one. Everything is from the one. Um, you know, like I explained, we as human beings um, have been taught through indoctrination that we use our brains or our own minds to use memory for creativity, etc. like that. But what it is, is that there's a consciousness that's the one of everything that we are singularity of. And um, through connecting through to the consciousness, which you we always are connected to the consciousness, you just have to understand how to um, understand your connection to the consciousness. That's the problem. See, when you relay stuff and when you talk stuff, when you bring out information like Tesla brought out and um, uh, everyone in the past has brought out throughout history, these people have been pulling um, information from the collective consciousness. So... What they do is they, they manifest in the physical reality by learning, etc. And then because of what they understand of the physical reality, of the construct of the matrix, they can then uh, access their consciousness, which is the one, because we all are one of everything of Yahweh. And uh, then they can manifest what they actually see in consciousness into the matrix reality through um, imagination, which is the thought initi um, initiative, um, thought, I mean, thought initiative program, right? So um, uh, what you've got is, the problem with it is, is this is a game. So the world itself is meant to be a game. So this is what I'm trying to point out here. Yahweh is good and bad. It is um, uh, everything from good and everything from bad. Hence, the, in the Bible, it says, um, I am the Alpha to Omega. So if you pick up the Bible and look at the Alpha and Omega, you're going to look at Genesis to Revelation. So therefore, you've got your light and your dark. So it's already indicating that Yahweh is everything all in one. And the problem with um, uh, indoctrination over history and um, uh, the, the way that everything has been worked is so everything becomes individuality. Remember I was talking about individuality in my last video, how we are not individuals, there's no families, there's nothing. So there is no individuality as such. It's all a program inside the matrix structure of the actual game. This is why we get it wrong because... By rights, we're supposed to log into the game, have fun, and log out. Now, you may think this is um, uh, bad, what I'm saying, etc., but as far as what I can see from what I've been told from Yahweh, nothing evil or anything. I've got full love for Yahweh, and I love the game that he has created for. It is absolutely divine. There's no flaw in it. It's just perfect. But the problem is, is we aren't players in this game. We are supposed to be players that log in and log out whenever we want and we're supposed to enjoy it like a game. But we are stuck inside the game for so long that we have indoctrinated um, ourselves through the consciousness. It, I mean, through the matrix world of indoctrination, we have indoctrinated ourselves to believe that there is such thing called life. When life itself doesn't exist because it's just a construct from inside of the programming of the matrix. And if, that, if life doesn't exist inside the matrix, and the matrix doesn't exist, like I said before, except for um, vibrational frequencies of um, consciousness that manifest the physical reality through the atom being blank 99%, and then consciousness um, vibrational frequency manifesting it to physical, which can be proven through science, which is no, is showing you that there is nothing really here. So 
why are we taking everything to so much consideration, like life, etc., like that? I know it sounds bad, trust me, but from what I've been told is that we should think this is a playground. And why we had the Mandela effect is for an awakening to understand that this is game. This is the game graphics. The reason why continents moved is because um, Yahweh as a collective wants to show you that this is a game, how easy it is for things to change and be manipulated, just like a game level. But the problem is that this game is so far advanced to anything that we could even understand that we are playing games right now, but we couldn't even imagine the game that we're in. But we are in a game. We are light beings playing a game that we love. We love the game, and we just keep playing it. We come here, we inhabit an avatar um, uh, when, we, when we first start, and then we enter it, and then we're indoctrinated into the program of the game, and then right throughout the game, we're indoctrinated, 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 indoctrinated. And at the moment, you have, in the actual reality of the game, you have one side. You have the Illuminati, which are just taken over. But where's the good guys? Where's, where's the other side of the, 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 the um, game? Everything's a game. Like, we can manifest dragons into this reality. We can do whatever we want. This is the amazing thing about the the construct of the matrix through vibrational frequencies, through thought initiative programming. You use your imagination. When you use an imagination, what you're doing is you're opening up your consciousness um, uh, flow to receive t as, as um, the one, from the one, and you receive the information download of what everything really is. And you can understand by speaking to Yahweh exactly how everything should be. And the problem is we have a game here that he built for us that is specifically for us to come in and enjoy ourselves. Like um, any kind of enjoyment, fun, kill, murder, live life, happy, get married, whatever you want to do is what should be in this reality. But we have sold indoctrination inside of the Matrix game that everything is bad and everything is good. There is no good and bad because Yahweh is perfect and Yahweh is everything. So let's get rid of that stereotype to start with. So now we have a game, right? That's all it is, is a game platform. This whole reality is a game platform. When we first get here, the only problem is we, like I said before, we need instructions. We need the game manual. We need a tutorial to explain to us it's a game because at the moment we're not understanding that this is a game. We understand it in the terms. You think about it. Um, Everything in creation is through the one consciousness of Yahweh working through us singularities, right? So we are all one, no matter what. We are all just um, singularities, are all children of Yahweh. So everything that is in existence inside the matrix is there for a reason from Yahweh. So everything is to give you a hint. You read it? So when we turn, we, we drop terms in reality, when we speak, it's actually the consciousness of Yahweh talking to one another because we don't pull speech from anywhere else except for our singularity of consciousness that's connected to the, um, uh, the collective consciousness. So when we say stuff like, oh, life is a game, we are literally telling each other that life is a game. This is the funniest thing of all. We are not getting the messages. We are not getting the hints that are sent to us. There should be a um, where you can log in and log out. Basically, that's what it should be. The reason why Illuminati are trying to um, keep the humanity down to 500,000 in balance with perpetual to nature, to nature and that, like they say, is because they understand it's a game. And we have 7 billion players that are playing this game that are not logging out. You get it? What would happen in the real life if um, uh, we had a game that was online and we had 7 billion people log into it in the whole world? The game system would get congested and there'd be like, it wouldn't know how to, it would be so congested that the servers would shut down in our reality, right? Well, this is kind of the same kind of thing that's going on, but instead of um, people understanding that we're in actual virtual reality of the toppest degree fucking game, that. We don't log out, so therefore we've got collections and collections and collections of players that are constantly just building more and more players. So we are creating our um, own uh, sardine-packed game world when, in reality, if this happened in a game, what we'd do is we'd log out and go into another server and we'd go into another game or we'd start a brand new fresh game or something like that. But this is the problem. People do not understand it's a game. When we die, all we're doing is logging out. When we are born, all we're doing is logging in. This is a really advanced game. What we are in reality is spiritual essence. We are um, the pure light consciousness cross beings that exist outside of this matrix um, vibrational frequency um, uh, of consciousness. 
So what what's that? We are outside. So what is this? It's a game if we are outside of the game, is it not? And everything is created now through science that you're figuring out yourselves that consciousness manifests physical reality. So you have the one which is everything everywhere as all of us all the time speaking to all of us all the time as when we speak and I speak right now I'm speaking from the one when you reply to me you're speaking from the one because we are all connected by the one this is why um the the everything is to do with showing that everything is now um turning into so make believe and um like movies example Movies are created by the consciousness of the one through singularities, like I said before and earlier, right? So you have the um, uh, the brain or the consciousness of Yahweh trying to indicate to us inside of the matrix all the time that everything inside the matrix is fake. That's the reason why you've got movies with green screens. That's the reason why you have movies that can look so visually realistic to you, but you know that it's a movie, and outside of the movie, you know that it was a screened movie and stage movie. You watch people get murdered. You watch everything go on in that movie as what it could happen in reality. But you look at a movie and say, oh, well, <clears throat> that was just a movie. But you've got to realize that is the... Um, that is the singularity of consciousness of Yahweh manifesting into physical reality as a hint. It's showing you that reality is a game. That's the reason why they show all this. That's the reason why movies show this stuff, because they want you to get the hint that you can associate reality with being game-like. That's what it's all about. The whole of reality is a game. See, some people think I'm, I'll probably be crazy. Some people will think other, but I can tell you exactly what it's all about. We ourselves are light beings, like I said. We exist outside of this matrix. Now, the reason why this matrix is the way it is and it's good and bad is because us light beings inside of our real home, remember, this is not our real home. Us light beings inside of our real home, outside of the matrix, live in absolute, surreal, perfect, pure purity. Everything is so perfect. No crime, no murder, no nothing ever. It is so perfect. It really is heaven, right? So what it is is that us light beings know that we cannot destroy our own um, realm. We know that we can't do anything like this. But in some of it, there's fun in all of this stuff because people do this stuff in reality for fun. But us light beings like to jump into here and enjoy ourselves and do everything that we cannot do in our own realm. So we come into here, we're supposed to actually come in, have fun, wait until we've had enough and log out. But we don't do that anymore. So therefore, we have all of our light beings players stuck in here. And this is the problem. So now that yeah, I've explained it all, you understand that everything inside the matrix is just programming, is code. The actual imagination code I grabbed from Yahweh, and it's called the Thought Initiative Programming from the actual Archon that is creating this reality. Because everything is right through from Yahweh. So we have what I said. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to teach you, um, if you listen, how to actually see what I see, all right? So imagine that you have a glowing purple orb right in front of the top of your head. So this glowing orb will be closed at first because you don't use it much. So imagine that orb opening brighter, all right? And as you feel the orb opening brighter, you will feel your body energy. As you open it, you will feel. Now... When you open that orb, you can get in contact straight through to consciousness and you'll feel your contact. You'll go into alpha state and you'll know that you're in a different state because you'll actually get information fed to you or you'll talk to Yahweh. So now, now that you can get into that state and try to, I want you to envision as hard as you can a checkered floor, just like the Masonic checkered floor. All right, so visualize that, and now on each tile of that checkered floor, I want you to turn around and I want you to visualize those little light beings. 
we look exactly like we do now, but without any shape. We don't have a we don't have a shape to an avatar, and we don't have a face. We are just pure light. So imagine those pure light beings in the shape. Everyone looks the same. Male and female looks a bit different because they do have breasts. But imagine that. All right. So the male is standing on the um, white. And the female is standing on the negative, and then the male is standing on the white, the female is standing on the negative, or vice versa, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, so that there is what you're looking at, is what we are. Now, out of each of the arms that are stretched out, because we look like little crosses because we have our arms out to each other, and we're almost touching fingertips, hence the, um, uh, the image of God touching man. There's another reference from the consciousness of Yahweh put into the actual reality. Um, uh, now, we're sending energy through our fingertips into every other one that's in the actual game. So we're all standing in the square pad, and uh, we are sending light energy to each other. And through this grid going through everyone, we are creating, through, we are creating one consciousness through our telepathic minds as light beings. And uh, with our one consciousness of, of, of us all being combined, we are playing this game all at once. This is what well, this is why it's so hard because the game is um all about tricking. The game is about everything in it to be a lie. You know what I mean? Like um uh, you look at reality, what you're supposed to do in here, work, all that fucking bullshit. What a lot of joke. That's fucking shit. You're not supposed to do a single fucking thing that you don't want to fucking do. I can understand exactly why um uh, these these people in Hollywood are saying do as thou wilt because they understand that it's a game. See. They can't tell you through free will that it's a game because they have an agenda. I don't have an agenda. I've just been told by Yahweh exactly what it is. And I'm only here to actually relay the information because I've actually seen me as a light being outside and I understand what I am. So I'm trying to now relay to the rest of us, which are all light beings, and we've got a wicked home to go to, trust me, that we are all the same, exactly the same. And that's the reason why we've created one consciousness that can control everything and manifest a physical game. Because we outside are sinless. We don't sin. We don't eat. We don't drink. We don't do anything like that. We are so divine in the purest, pur the purest form of purity, like I said. This is the reason why, because out in that reality of what we're really from, we can't do anything like this. We cannot um, uh, kill. We cannot. We cannot have sex. We cannot um, fucking smoke drugs. We can. We can't do all the bad, and we can, we can do. We can't get married or anything like that because we cannot. Um, we don't have this understanding. Of, we are just all individuals there, but we work as one collective still, just like we're doing in here. We are all individuals, but we're still one collective creating the game. We are, we like beings love this. We have been doing this for fucking millennia, but the problem is we loved it so much at the beginning and there was no understanding of how to bring the consciousness, um, thought predictive programming into the physical reality of the um uh, the vibrational created matrix so there was never ever uh, understanding that it was a game but there was because it talks about great look god in the sky hovering over everything is related to ufos that you read about some of the stuff in the biblical sense and then you say well okay what can that happen in it can happen in a game everything is a game that's the thing there is no satanism there is no religion there is no um, learning. There is nothing. The game is open for you to express yourself the way that you want to express yourself because us as light beings can't express ourselves from where we're from. So we created the ultimate simulation game that we can get every experience from that we desire. And that's what it's all about. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And I know it's a bit far-fetched. Fucking trust me on that one. But... I'm a good soul, I'm 100% for Yahweh, I love Yahweh, and I love the game that has been created. And we have to understand, if we are ever going to understand and get out of the game, you have to search your consciousness. If you don't believe me that this is a game, 
All what you have to do is figure out how to use your chakras. And if you don't already do it, open your chakras and talk to consciousness because we are all one. And the fact that I have pulled this means that we are all one. So you know this already. I am just knowing. See, when you grab something from Yahweh, there's I think, I believe, or I know. And when you know, the one knows. So you know it is exactly what you're saying because why else would you be saying it through the manifestations of consciousness of the one? Anyway, peace and love. Peace and love and back again. I'll just continue with it instead of making individual ones. So um, now you've got to understand the whole problem with the way that the game is working is we have factions. Why do we have Yahweh split it into factions? Why is Yahweh and why, why is Satan? What the, what, what the fuck is Satan? Satan's a creation from Yahweh. Everything was a creation from Yahweh. So is part of Yahweh? This is the problem here. Everyone's taken their own little bits and pieces out of the true creation. The true creation, Yahweh, is everything good and bad. The only way that we are to understand now to love thy enemy, which is what I'm teaching you out of this whole thing, is to love the Illuminati because they're trying to get you out of the game. And the Illuminati are created by who? Yahweh. Because the Illuminati are a manifestation of the pure source of consciousness into the vibrational fr um, frequency um, uh, matrix. So therefore, it's part of the one. And Yahweh is everything. That's the reason why you have them flying the all-seeing eye. Because it says um, uh, the all-seeing eye, which is Yahweh. They, are, they have a religious symbol, believe it or not. But the symbol itself has been put into context. See, inside the matrix... Everything is different to outside of the matrix. Inside the matrix, good is bad and bad is good and all kinds of crazy stuff that goes on. I won't even get into all that because it, it's mind-boggling, trust me, and I've gone through it all. But to understand what we have to do, if you want to love your enemy, realize that the Illuminati are just part of the game of Yahweh. Yahweh created them too, so why do you hate them? Why are you hating on Yahweh? Because you love Yahweh. You know that you love Yahweh. And everything is of Yahweh. So to love Yahweh is to love all of Yahweh. This is why we're stuck in the game too. Because we have this um, broken down communication of what really everything is. And if we, we can't even understand how the game is made, how are we going to understand it's a game? This is the problem. You have to get through your head... Everything is a creation from one, one pure source of consciousness, okay? That's from all of us on the outside, standing on a, a light board, creating a, a consciousness that can manifest the physical reality. This is our game world. Now, inside the game world, Yahweh is everything. He created this beautiful game. You know what I mean? He lets you go out and do whatever you want. That's the point of everything. Everything else is an indoctrination to keep you stuck to understand the matrix. It's called the governor. The governor will tell you when you try to get outside the matrix to get back in the matrix. Every time you think out you when you try to get outside the matrix to get back in the matrix. Every time you think outside of the box, so to speak. Yeah, there you go. There's another little um, uh, quote that's been thrown into reality by Yahweh. The collective consciousness is one. Think outside the box. These are all things that are coming from the one. I'm not talking individually through my brain. I'm talking straight from consciousness, as everyone does. Because we are all singularities of the one. So what I say, and I know, I know this. I'm not fucking saying, oh, I might believe this. I know this 100% with certainty. I, I get so much energy flowing through my body after talking to Yahweh. It is insane. I just hope you go out and try it yourself and get in communication and find out that what I'm saying is 100% what it all is. For us to... Um, all right, I'm going to put this one down. So we have a new um, Zodiac, um, Ophilus, Ophilus or whatever it is, right? Which I now am, apparently. But it is to slay the serpent, okay? And then heal the serpent and live with the serpent, that is what that zodiac sign says. 
Now, anyone say, say the Illuminati indoctrination stereotype of them being reptilian um, aliens and uh, the Satan, serpent? You get it? By removing the serpent um, indoctrination from everything, you are then understanding it's all Yahweh. So then you are healing the serpent because it's broken at the moment. No one loves Yahweh fully. No one is understanding that Yahweh is everything good and bad. You're loving one part of Yahweh, and the Satanists are loving the other part of Yahweh. It's got to be loved all in one. This is the reason why the yin and yang is manifested into the pure source of consciousness creation. So you can understand there needs to be a perpetual balance. And it's all Yahweh. It's all coming from the one pure source of creation consciousness. And that's Yahweh, Elohim. That's it. There's no other outside. There's no nothing. So we have to get it through our heads that everything is Yahweh. It doesn't matter if it's good. It doesn't matter if it's bad. You love it. Because what does God say? He says, love me and fear me at the same time. The way to destroy your enemy is love thy enemy. I'm telling you how you love your enemy. They are trying to um, log you out of the game. Don't be scared. There's no scared to it. Are you scared when you jump on a console and you log out? Do you get scared? This is why it's so insane. Because this game is so complex and it drags you into it so insanely that you believe that the Matrix is real. Anyway, that is my rant. And what a fucking load of information that's all I can say. Peace. Yeah, I decided to add a bit more anyway. So, um... What I was saying is, like, um, like I'm trying to point out, is everything in reality is the creation of consciousness through Yahweh, the One, okay? So we've established that. So nothing is in reality without the existence of Yahweh present there in the, any manifestation of creation, right? So everything is telling you to wake up and obey. We are thinking that the obey sign that keeps popping up everywhere in games and everything like that is from um, uh, the actual... Um, obey the law, obey that. It's not. It's always about obey Yahweh. Yahweh through consciousness has told us repeatedly to wake up, wake up, wake up. It's like he's repeatedly um, dropping messages all the time how we fix this game. We're not doing the game right. What we've got to do is we've got to um, divide countries into actually war. One, some, one place can be for war. One place can be for serenity. One place can be for, I don't know, gang violence and drugs and stuff like that. And we can split the world so well and divided. This is what the New World Order is about. The Illuminati are trying to create the game. They understand that the game is there. And what they're trying to do is build stuff like robots and stuff like that. So we can log in and we can log out. And we can come back and that is still the same. I understand the whole mentality of everything that's going on right now. And what's broken is we need to... Um, you think about reality right now. What's the main thing that keeps popping up in your face? Menus, right? Everything that you can think of right now has a menu. So... The the manifestation of creation through the consciousness is actually dropping hints as we need a menu. We need a menu for the game when we get here because there's no menu that tells us it's a game. We need to understand that we have um, uh, all these spiritual connections and we're actually the light beings back in the other world, which we call heaven, but, <coughs> but is actually the um, uh, actual home that we can go back and forth at any time we choose. The problem is that we're not told this and we need an actual instruction manual when we get here of exactly how it all works. And then we need to connect to the one, um, Yahweh, as very, very little. And then we can follow through, um, always talking through the consciousness and we can manifest what we want. So if you want to have a Satanist world, you can have a little island in the middle of the world or the middle of um, uh, Earth where all the Satanists go that want to be Satanists and they'll manifest their own reality. You know, they'll create their own devil theme areas as what they all believe so they can manifest that um, consciousness creation into reality. So you have, um, like, the, the you can have the, um, like, uh, the one where Buddha, Buddha can be a whole entire country as well. And then because of all of the spiritual belief behind all that, Buddha will manifest back into physical reality. And same with um, uh, every other religion you can think about, the Christian religion. We can actually, um, uh, well, you can have like fucking, um, uh, what, well, what can we, we can actually make like a whole country um, uh, made for the whole Christian religion. So everyone that wants to be in that faith can join that country. And that country can all be about 
whatever it is, you know, nice, happy, happy, and then the other ones can be about gore, gore, or hate, hate, or war, gang violence, whatever you want. You split apart the world separately, so each part of the game is all divided and actually works as it's supposed to be a game. Because what we are supposed to be is a game that's inside a game with billions of other little games that we can play. We made this to be a game. The, the reason why we keep getting the menu pop up in through the consciousness um, manifesting into reality is because the game needs a menu. We need to have the menu. We need to have um, the understanding of when you're born, who cares? You're logging in. Do you, do you go celebrate every time something's born? Um, in reality, we do. But in this reality, we do. But the fact is, all it is is a login. So we've got to understand that it's a login, and then death is a log out. So we should have um, suicide booths in some part of the world as well that allow people that want not want to be in the game any longer that understand obviously that it's just a game once they once they get the understanding that they can log in and log out and then they can come back. So we have to manifest things into reality to change this the way they want. The Illuminati New World Order they're showing you on the um. Uh, the, the Denver mural, everything's different. You know, they've got um, one part that's peaceful. The background's got fucking war going off. On the side of it, they've got um, things that are in um, glass cubes and stuff like that. What it is, is uh, this is all consciousness, remember? Every single thing that you know in reality is consciousness. Adding it there is a hint for you to understand. <coughs> so, you've got consciousness telling you left, right and center, Hey, it's the game. Wake up. Obey. Because we need to, though we need to understand that we can't stay in the game forever. So, what we need to do is, like I said, divide everything so perfectly that the world just works in harmony. You know, are you going to be scared if you know that the war is not going to come to you? If you know there's just a place that is always constantly in war and always for the ones that want to go play in war, exactly play in war, like I just said. Because once you understand you're a gamer, you're here to have fucking fun on whatever kind of um like um, a gaming experience that you want. Think about the reality, right? You've got flight simulators. You've got every single thing that you can think of that the consciousness is showing you now as a computer game. So you look behind that, and what's the symbology of that? It's the symbology of consciousness revealing to you that it's a game. You look down behind everything that's symbology. Now that you know that consciousness tells you all the time through every single thing that you do, and what I do, and what everyone does, and what's everything's created into the actual world, um, uh, the vibrational matrix that doesn't exist, remember, but is only a construct of consciousness creating it through um, uh, imagination, which is um, uh, only thought initiative programming, so we can actually make the, the, the reality the way it goes, then think about what we can do. We can have a part of the world that's peace and pure. We can have whatever they want in different areas of the world. And then if you, that no one's going to go anywhere else because all you have to do is travel to that country for that fucking experience. And if you're a gamer, well, then you understand that it doesn't really matter what you do. You know, games, you go in and you get killed. So you would understand that when you go over to them kind of places, if you want to start playing that game, then you've got to understand that you may get shot. But you got to understand that you can log out and log in as well. So you, you got to create all save points and everything like that. It sounds absolutely insane. But this is what we want. We are light beings on the outside, like I said. And we have a game that is absolutely broken in this reality. What we need in this reality is um, everything to work in order. This is the reason why not the Illuminati, no one else except for consciousness itself, which is the all-seeing eye, because it is the one eye that sees everything. This is the only reason the Illuminati used the eye, is because the consciousness is the energy that's linked to your brain. Your brain doesn't do anything. Your brain only processes information into the consciousness. And then through the consciousness, collecting the information from so many, then manifests the physical reality. So we're lied to right through. You've got to understand that we create create reality, that's 100%, and everything is a game, we have to create order out of chaos, so what do they want to do, they, they, they want to create order out of chaos, so they, you think that they're going to bring in martial law, and they want to create chaos and stuff like that, no, 
what they're going to tr- what they're trying to do is trying to get everyone out of the game but we don't need to do it like that all we have to do is separate and understand that we're gamers playing a game and split apart countries split apart the world exactly what um we've just been told by Yahweh during the Mandela effect by the way because he's just showing us that countries can move so if you believe a country somewhere else it's going to move because this is all the um manifestation of consciousness through imagination through the um um, the, the the thought initiative programming that's how you change physical reality it's all about us we are wicked wicked awesome um spiritual light beings we have the most purest place that we come from of purity we can't experience anything like this in our reality this is why we're here we're here to play games that we can't possibly experience in our reality we've come to have fun but for some reason we've like looped out the game's in a loop you know the reason why they put up 33 all the time 33 is 8 8 is the sign for infinity. 8 is the sign for the loop. This is the reason why it's showing you again. Because everything is a sign from consciousness itself. It's not the fucking Illuminati. It's not the, um, the Masons. It's not the Christians. It's not the Jews. It's fucking nothing. All it is is us as one. Because all of us are one through one creation of consciousness. And that consciousness is telling us, wake up. It's a fucking game. Thanks. The reason why um, everything is the way it is also is because we are remembering our past of what we are. We are light beings of purity, like I said. So we are living like light beings of purity in a world that we designed so we could destroy. This is the reason why the consciousness is showing you um, sex on TV and drinking. And, um, uh, for example, like I said, um, the consciousness telling itself and telling all us that we're a game. The game as a rapper, you know, and then you've got, oh, you're, you're in the game, man, your game. You know, all of these fucking um, quotes that actually represent that you're still stuck inside the matrix. You're in the game. Everything is there right for you to see in front of your own eyes. It's just, you've got to, if you look at something from now on, realize that everything is created from the one consciousness of all singularities, right? So... We have one consciousness that's manifesting the physical reality. So this physical reality is pushing a direction so you can get a message. The message is, we're gamers. Look everywhere around you. I know it's hard to grasp. I know exactly, but you've got to get past the indoctrination of when we're stuck here. You think that um, uh, spirit is like a spirit. It's not. It's you. You're a spirit. You're a light being. That's what we call. We call light beings. Well, light beings uh, is exactly what we are. And there's no fucking, um, uh, like, evil, evil, fuck all, mate. This is the evil. This is what we were supposed to come in here and live, which is evil. I, I, I know this is hard to grasp, baby, because the game should work. The game is broken so much that we don't even understand it's a fucking game. That's the craziest thing out of all. If you don't believe me, like I said, get in contact with the consciousness yourself. Speak to it visualize that chessboard and then ask it if i am right because i am 100 percent right and you remember at the end of the day i'm a singularity of that consciousness telling you exactly how it is with all the changes out there to all the christians i've been christian all my life right through and what i'm saying is exactly what yahweh tells me to tell everyone and with the christians out there you want to know the reason why the bible changed because It's not to be taken literally. It's supposed to be a choice of when you get into the actual game. You can choose that path if you want. So, and because Christianity has turned around and and deemed Satanism and created two factions of the same, we have the consciousness trying to drop hints, like I'm always telling you, like, look at all the evil everywhere in the same of the consciousness itself. So that's what we're talking with the actual um, uh, verse where it used to be the lion shall lay with the lamb. Right? So we had that and that. And now since this actual um, Mandela effect, you know that it's changed to the wolf. So what's the wolf? The wolf is a representation of the Antichrist if you wanted to go to Christianity. But what's the Antichrist? The Antichrist is Satanism. So what's Satanism? Satanism is part of Yahweh. So therefore, it's the consciousness of the whole construct of everything is trying to relay this one message that let's get rid of all of this bullshit where there's factions that split apart Yahweh. Because Yahweh is one, and Yahweh wants to be worshipped as just one. 
You have to be in contact with Yahweh to, through your um, consciousness, um, open up your chakras and uh, get into your, um, start drawing or if you're creative, start doing that or <clears throat> anything else that opens up a way to be able to draw the imagination or the image thought programming um, or, or the initiative thought, uh, the thought initiative programming from the actual consciousness because what you're doing is you're training yourself to be able to accept the frequency of energy coming from Yahweh so you can receive the Holy Spirit and after you do this oh it is it is it is just glorious you can just see what you're supposed to be able to see as a being so I'm trying to tell everyone out there there's this is not the fucking real all right you know this through somatics you know this through the um the human resonance frequency being exactly the same as the earth, showing you that the earth is made of the same as the human. So what the fuck is up with that? Because it's all just a fucking fake construct of fucking nothing that never ever fucking really exists. But through thought, thought initiative programming, imagination, as a collective, we can manifest. The problem is you have individuals everywhere right now thinking about their own fucking thing and not manifesting the thought to do the creation. We are proper creators. You, to take the extent of understanding of creation if we take um 20 million people to one island and give them one imagination thought to think about you will see manifestation in front of your own eyes of actual creation because Yahweh will create that and that's amazing to me eh? and this is exactly what needs to be done to understand that we're nothing but consciousness that's it we are light beings, we inhabit avatars through our light being connection. Once we understand we're one, this is the main thing that we have to all under. We have, at the moment, we're all individual. Most of us, are, some of us are stuck fully in the matrix and don't even realize that there's anything at all besides the matrix. So you've got to open your kundalini. You've got to get in contact with consciousness. And trust me, consciousness wants to like every wants everyone to know what the hell is going on. And then we want to manifest through the thought initiative programming through consciousness into the physical reality. And that is exactly how we can actually change life so everyone can enjoy it. No one's in fear. There's no such thing as fear unless you go to that part of the game. Everything is sorted into sections. If you don't want to experience that kind of thing in your life while you're here to have your game, well, you just go somewhere else. If you don't want to, and you just make sure everything's always um, uh, divided into games. Well, when you get gamers, what, what do gamers do? How many gamers really um, cause trouble? They just want to play their game. So... Anyway, that's my actual full reading of um, uh, consciousness straight from the pure source of consciousness as Yahweh as a fool trying to relay the message to his peace. See, well, what the one thing is, right, is that we've got to understand is that consciousness builds their physical reality. There's nothing within the physical reality that we look at that hasn't been manifested there by consciousness as of a collective creating the physical reality that we're in. But the Matrix isn't real, as you know. So you look around and you see what consciousness itself is telling you. You have the yin and yang symbol directly corresponding that God is white and black. The one makes both. You have um, reality right now. You have a lot of um, uh, subliminal messages are not subliminal messages the way that we have always thought. Subliminal messages is the consciousness. They are not put there purposely by... Um, uh, the Illuminati or anything. They are put there by consciousness because consciousness controls everything. Consciousness controls you. Consciousness controls me. We are all one. You think about... The way to describe this is... um, You think about when you were younger and you played games that were Utopia, Populous and stuff like that where you were God and you got to control all the individuals, right? That is what consciousness is. We manifest... We as energy beings are creating this ma um, this manufactured um, holographic... A vibrational game because I'm not even going to call it a world anymore because it's not fucking um, uh, round and there's a planet and it's not um, whatever we can make it whatever we want this is the thing um, so you look around right now and you've got hints every single where that you look you've got um, computer games which are computer games they have the all-seeing eye in it the all-seeing eye I'll tell you exactly what the all-seeing eye represents for everyone out there see um, the Matrix is backwards. This is the funniest thing about the Matrix. Inside the Matrix, we live backwards. 
We think our life and our body is real. We think our body is the only thing that we've ever got. This is wrong. Our body is an avatar. We're supposed to be gamers. We're supposed to jump in, fucking smash it, jump out if we don't want to play, and then log back in if we want to play. Um, <clears throat> like, um, this Satanism shit and Christianity and Buddhism and everything like this is all the same. It leads back to the one consciousness. There is no other consciousness except the one. The one creates everything. I understand physically um, how it does this. I actually understand this 100%, and I can scientifically prove it. So... Um, when you see things lately, you notice that the trend has been pushed towards, um, the all seeing eye being put everywhere throughout reality. It's only because consciousness is that all seeing eye. See, the one eye is a representation of opening up your Christ or your Christ chakra in your eye, in your, in your third eye, right? So when you open up your Christ um, chakra, you get in contact with Yahweh. So, see, the Illuminati know this. The reason why it's called a cult and satanism and shit like this is because they choose to play it a certain way. But the, the symbol itself, like I said before, is religious. It's all to do with the contacting of Yahweh through the Christ eye. And you get in contact with Yahweh through the Christ eye. Um, 666. Okay, 666 isn't what we think it is either. See, I've learnt all this so you can imagine how astounded I am because I thought that these fucking, um, everything was evil as fuck. But what it is, right, is 666 is a power structure. So the order is is that the, the strongest symbol in our physical reality of the manifestated game is a triangle. So the representation of a triangle with the eye in it is the power, the power of Yahweh which they understand that is consciousness. Everything is consciousness. See, consciousness... How to log into this. You notice that um, how games are beginning to show you car games, all kinds of diversity of games? It's because consciousness is trying to show you that that shit is right there in real life for you to do this to. This is what it's all about. We're just stuck in this stupid system where, for some reason, we're playing a game as a world, but we don't understand it's a game. So we got the good guys, the Illuminati, which aren't actually fucking bad, which is fucking funny. And then we got, I mean, we got the bad guys, which are Illuminati. Then we got the good guys, which are the Christians and the truthers. But without the Illuminati, the Christian and the truthers can't wake up to understand that everything's fake. And we need to understand everything is fake, like flat earth, no space. Um, every single thing that the government does is fake for a reason. They are purposely trying to awaken us as a consciousness that the whole fucking matrix itself is fake. And that's what I can say. That's entirely what it is. It's up for you to take um, what with what I said, how it is. Um, myself, I'm 100% in contact with Yahweh 24-7. I get so much DMT from just opening up my third eye, speaking to Yahweh all the time. Um, yeah, if you, I mean, yeah, if you don't want, uh, if you know what that is, it's um, a drug that was given to you when you're born. You only use it when you're born. And when you die, you use it again so you can leave the game and go back to heaven, okay? I use this 24 fucking and seven just like my missus she's using this 24 7 and because we're both seers and we're both um in contact we can we can make the most um uh strongest connection when we're together and we can download the information that is understanding from beyond everything because you understand it already the only difference is people say they believe and they think all what you've got to do is know wake up people remember Another thing I can also say is, well, if you look at the outside of a building of a computer game, all right, so you're looking at pixels, right? TVs have pixels. Everything is showing you pixelation. What's pixelation? Pixelation is fucking atoms and every other little molecule and shit like that. It's pixelation. It's only that we call it something else inside of the physical world that we're indoctrinated to believe that that's how everything works, etc. like that. But we have consciousness constantly showing us it's pixelation. Where do you think pixelation come from? If everything is not anyone's own memory and all it is is a singularity of consciousness and then that manifests into physical reality through the collective, then therefore consciousness has told you that pixelations is reality. Thank you. Oh, one last thing, all right? So consciousness directs us, like I've been saying. So now, with the new technology that's coming out, are you ready for this one? This should fucking amaze you as to everything I'm saying. Now, consciousness has manifested what? What's the latest technology that we're about to go into that's going to become our everyday life? Virtual reality. This is consciousness again, telling us as a collective, everything is fake. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put these goggles, <clears throat> we're going to put these goggles on our face. And as we do that, we'll be logging in and then we'll be logging out. But we'll be jumping into another reality. Do you get it? 
This is what consciousness itself has been telling us right through. We are fucking gamers. And that we have to fix this so it's a game. We have a beautiful home to go back to at any time that we want. Uh, I know I'm all over the place with um, stopping and starting, but I just keep continuing on the same voice. Um, so what I've been trying to explain is um, that consciousness manifests the physical reality and uh, that everything in this reality is nothing but a game. But the thing is that if everyone's going to say, um, <clears throat> why can't we just fix a game from the outside? The problem with the actual chessboard game is that we need someone from inside of the manifestation of the game to fix it from the inside. The reason why we haven't fixed it is because no one's become an awakened to this, and because the game works in reverse, the stereotypes of indoctrination inside of the Matrix is actually um, telling you that what you need to learn how to do is wrong. See, the programming is wrong. That's the reason why consciousness itself has grabbed the, the cross and flipped it, or um, reverse speech. Everything is in reverse. You notice how many movies that you've noticed that you've seen things in reverse. People walk in reverse. In reality, we think... Where we're taught that it's Satanism. In reality, it's supposed to be a cult and stuff like that. But in reality of it, it's nothing but consciousness. Not the fucking devil, because that shit don't exist. There's no fucking devil. All there is is one pure source of creation or consciousness that's good and bad, that manifests the physical reality. We have to get rid of the term of the indoctrination of using good and bad, that there's two separate deities that control each um, form of... Um, emotion and action towards what we do inside of the physical matrix because that is what is holding us back to understand that everything here is meant for us to have fun we can't do it at where we come from meant for us to have fun we can't do it at where we come from we are already what we want to be what what indoctrination is saying what we want to be here is um pure peaceful everything perfect right why would we want that when we come from that, people? Think about it. This is the game. We come from that perfect purity. We are just nothing than made. We're just made of love. Where we come from, we can't do anything except love. That's the only reason that we decided that we'd make a game where we can experience so many different all emotions inside of a virtual reality game that goes right down to the biological structures and the physical reality that you can touch. As the Matrix tells you, it is nothing though, because all it is is the senses coming from the body. You are not that body. You are that consciousness, that energy inside of it, or that spirit. The whole thing is about good versus bad how many games have you played that's about good versus bad this is what we're really supposed to do we're not supposed to be fucking arguing as a like um society what the fuck is society society should be one game stuck to one fucking island then another one should have castles and shit and we should genetically create how to make a dragon and stuff like that this is how we make the game this is why it's this is reason why consciousness also has taught you to say this that was a hell of a game because, the or, or good game, you know, everything's about game. It's all games, people. It's all games. Our life is a game. We have to understand and get past the um, indoctrination of inside of the Matrix and the governor's programming that we are just spiritual beings playing a game. The spirit does not get judged. We go back to heaven no matter what the fuck we do. And that's what Yahweh told me. So you tell me that I'm wrong. And no, I'm not a fucking Satanist. And no, I know all of that crap that I'm going to get fed back at me. This is the real 100% fucking truth of how it is in reality. If you want to live inside the matrix for vibrational creation of this fucking so-called prison of what we've done to ourselves these days, fair enough. But if you really want to know the truth, do what I said. Sit back, learn how to open your actual Christ chakra, contact consciousness, which just happens to be the all-seeing fucking eye symbol, but don't imagine that, and then just listen. Because consciousness is everyone. I'm right there, right now, on consciousness, telling you as another singularity of me to wake the fuck up. On top of that, before anything like that, people are talking about the Illuminati, right? I fucking understand what the Illuminati are 100%. But the problem is, see, like I told you before, they are game players. They know it's a game already. So they've already started playing their game. Why do you think they're so fucking rich? Because they've been playing the game. We're the idiots that have been sitting back letting them do whatever they fucking want. Because the game is to stop them.
This is this game. But the problem is that everyone thinks that our life is like real life, like I said before. But my, that's not my point. The reason why I'm adding a bit more is because the cloning that's going on. Everyone knows about cloning, 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 okay? So why are we cloning? Now, in reality, looking at being a physical avatar, because I'm not this physical avatar. I could kill myself right now and probably come back straight away. You know, in, maybe not into this avatar yet, but maybe right into this avatar. It depends what we build inside the matrix that allows us to. But like I'm trying to say, we need to have clones inside of the Matrix for the simple reason is they're making clones not to fucking put, um, um, what you call, oh yeah, they are. Yeah, they're in reality of what you can see inside the Matrix is they are making clones to put spirits into and they're bringing, um, spirits from somewhere to inhabit clones, right? But no, because what it really fucking is, is we are changing avatar pre presentation. Instead of logging into the game and having to start off as a baby each time, we are beginning to understand that it's a game and we can change our characters. See, they've known this for a long time. That's what reincarnation is, and that's where reincarnation comes from, because people do remember coming back. But now we're actually changing it, so... You want to come back, you're going to be able to go back to heaven and look back on the board, and then when it's fixed proper, we'll be able to go, all right, let's go play that game. And we'll jump into it, and we might want to go racing this time. So we'll go into the race park, and we'll rip around until our bodies get shattered or something like that, and then we'll go back to heaven, or we could might complete the race. See, we have it right now how it is. We have races and everything like this and shit, but no one knows it's a fucking game. If you know that you can um, die, crash, and come back, how hard are you going to go on that race course, mate? You're going to rip it like a game. Because this is what we're supposed to do. These clones are there for... We might not want to start off as a baby again. So, next time, we might want to come back as black. Next time, you know what I mean? The clones are the avatars. That's why they're making clones. They're making machines. So, every time we log out of the game and come back into the game, we have, like, machines that can... <clears throat> that can, um... Constantly... Um, uh... What's the game? Blah, 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 blah. Um, control and um, uh, manufacture the whole ideas of what we need when we're outside of the Matrix and keep the maintenance up on all of the games that we invent so we can keep coming back and enjoying the games ourselves. That's the reason why everything is going the way that we see. Now I've explained all this to you and you understand exactly what it's all about and it's not about Satanism and it's all about that Yahweh itself is good and bad as one collective, and that is what creates this physical matrix. You must understand that there's no hate, there's no fear, there's no terror, because there's always just a game. We're players in the game, so now you think about that. Where's your fear gone? The Illuminati are other players trying to get us to know that we have to log out. So why should we hate them? That's why I say that this is how you love thy enemy. Love them, because back on the chessboard, they're exactly us. We are all doing this. They're just one of us on the chessboard. This time they've done this because they realize that we're not going to wake the fuck up at all. This is the problem. We're indoctrinated. We are so fucking gone into this um fake matrix construct that we now actually believe that it's the physical reality, like I keep saying, and we have bodies. No, we are fucking gamers and we are divine gamers. And this is what it's all about. The good versus bad, the yin and the yang. But it's always one. If you look at a picture drawn, it will show you um, angels coming out one side and then the other side, um, uh, then a, the demons coming out of the fire and they're fighting in the middle, always as one picture because like, um, evil and fucking um, the, the, the good is one. Everything is one. You can't just pick factions out of the one. All right, that is my rant. And hopefully a lot of you woke up because... To me, before I understood everything of this from consciousness, I was 100%. Fuck that. Them Satan dogs got to die, right? That's my mentality. I've fucking studied like all of my life, the Illuminati and everything. You know the reason why we need fake? We need so much fake over and over again. Do you know the false flags? They're fake, right? What does that tell you? Oh, shit, fake. It's because reality is fucking fake. And everything that they're doing is fake purposely to show you that the physical matrix is fucking fake.